Uh, hi guys, um, I'm here today, back at the chapel site that I used the divining rods on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to peg it, so you can have a clearer picture of what's in the ground. Um, and for all you sceptics, please explain to me how I'm pulling this off, you know, using these, because I'm just doing what the divining rods do. So I'll teach you all how to use these. Um, if, if foundations have been robbed out, the stone is gone, that's going to leave dampness in the ground, and that's going to give you a positive more of an increased energy flow from the ground. If they've left the stone in, it's going to shut it off, give you a negative. So this church here, I believe, has been robbed out because I'm getting a positive from the foundations. I'll show you just how this works. Okay, so I'm going to stand here now. This is going to ground balance as such. Just get myself all calmed down and into the ground. Okay, so I'm going to turn this way. I know that the back end of this church will be starting here now, and that should be roughly about Okay guys, that's there, okay? Now we agree with that, that's spot on here, and it should open up there. So the main centre is here, so I'm going to mark that off. This may take a bit of time, but you need to, you need to see this. So I'll stick, I'll stick a couple of markers in here. There we are, okay, that's the back of the church. Now, I'm going to come back again, and I'm going to go over here. And there she goes again, here. So, another marker in here. I'm going to step inside, guys. I'm going to find out where the edge is, the return. Okay. There's the return here. There. Okay, that's the return. So, I'm going to mark off the return here. Here we go. And I'm going to try and find the corner. The corner, if we look at it, should be somewhere right by here. So, here we go. Here we go. There's a cross there. Right, that's telling me there's, there's quite a deep trench here. Look, she's going quite positive. So that tells me this is the deep corner trench. I turn to the side. Okay, can you see? I turn to the side and I walk this way. Right, there, she's crossing here. So to me, the corner is going to be here. Okay, guys, here's the corner. I'm going to walk up here. We know we're inside the church chapel here, because there we are. We're coming back inside the chapel. I'm turning this way. Can you put it on side me? I'm turning this way. I'm going to walk up here. Okay. I'm going to find the other wall, the other return wall. Right, guys. There. There's our cross. Okay. There. So, I'll map this one off. Let's see. Okay, about there. So I'm going to walk back this way to find the return wall again. Right, there's the return wall here. Right, there's the return wall here. So I'm going to plug this one. Right there. And find the return wall by here. There's the return here. I'm going to turn to the side and find that one. And there she is there. So that kind of tells us, that's the corner. That's our corner there. Okay, so there, this is the return wall. And come back through the return wall again. There's a return wall here. And there's... Okay. Right. Walk down here. Right. Across here. Here we go. Right there, and there, is a return. So what we have, let's see how wide this church is now. So I'm going to walk up here. This is where she should turn now here. Right, there's a return here. So that's running down here, guys. Right, you start seeing some shape in a minute. Um, Okay, right, and carry on walking this way now. Here we go. This is right on a wall. Look at this, guys. That's, that, that's, a, that's an internal wall. Watch this. I'm walking right along that wall. She might break here for a doorway. I'm not sure. A little bit. There's a doorway by here. Right, and the reason a little bit is because they probably come through with a trench. But this is going to be one of the interior walls here. So... There we are. So we know there's a river doorway by here. 
This is where the doorway up is here. Look, it's not crossing much. You know, if I step to the side, look at the difference there. Real strong crossing. Okay, there she goes. All right, so that door, this is here. Right. And then, here's the rest. All right, guys, so I'm going to mark off this side wall now. Here we go. Here we go. There she goes again, right there. Okay. There. And I'm going to find this corner. Okay. Here we go. Come this way. There we are, right? I'm going to step inside the church. There. And turn this way. Look, guys, straight back on it again. That tells me our corner is right here. So as you can see, you can see here now, we have the small back room. You can see where the pegs are. See where the pegs are. Now this is a small room. I'm just going to run up here because this is where the other return will be. Okay guys, here it is. Right, there's the wall. There's the return wall. So here is right where the wall is. Right, so we got one small room at the back here. You can see the size of it. So what I'll do now, I'll follow this wall back down. Okay guys, we find out the length of it, here we go. Right, there again. Right here, sorry about this time taking, but it does prove a point. So I'm gonna come again this way, over here. Get them all settled down, walk forward. There we are again. Okay. Walk forward, there we are again. I could be on the wall again here, guys. Right, so there we go. I'm backing off the wall, right. Here we are, that one. I keep on going this way first. Again, crossing lovely there. Put these in. Again, there, crossing again. Okay, so we're going to put this one in here. Okay, guys, off we go again. Crossing. There we are again. So put these in here. We go again. Okay, guys, <laughs> we're here. Here we go again. Okay, here. And again. Okay. Okay, again by here. We shouldn't be, we should be close to the end of this chapel now, guys. There we are. Okay, that chapel's finished there now. Because I would have had the wall running down here and there's no wall anymore. So I'm going to walk this way and see where that actual return wall falls in. Okay. Right there. Right here. So there. And that's where the return wall is here. So let's just run through here, see if we have a doorway here too. Okay, here we go. This is the far end. That is a very light crossing. I'm going to, that's the doorway guys. I'm going to step across and see where that foundation finishes solid. Right, okay. This is where the foundation I think finishes solid here. We have a doorway in here because she won't cross so strong. Look, very, very, not there. I'm going to come to the side where I think the doorway is going to finish. And we try by here now. There we are, back in again. There's the foundation started again. Make way for that doorway. So, what do we have? We have a doorway six foot wide, possibly. And then we're going to come back down here. And come through here. There's a nice cross there, guys. There she goes there. So I'm going to mark this here. 
no. I want to find where this wall starts to return on itself. So I'm coming this way, inside the church. I'm coming this way now. Okay, there she blows, right by here. Okay, so that's the return wall, which equates to this being the corner here. So we have, so we have the full length of the church. We have the width of the church. And let's just put out this width of the church. Let's see. One, two, three. That that works out to around about 18 foot wide. 18 foot wide is this church. No, I'm gonna come up this way because I know there's a small back room here. Let's see where she starts to kick in. I go watch I'm not in the doorway, so I'm gonna step here, walk forward. Okay guys, use here, here's one of the Annex walls here, use, use one of the return walls here. Let's find out where she blows properly. It's all by here, guys, okay? This must have been a light structure on here because they haven't put deeper foundations in here. So let's just do this. Down. There we go again. So that tells me the return wall probably comes in here. Alright, okay back down this way a bit and I'll find the other side ah, there she goes. definitely a wooden structure inside here I believe because this is definitely not as deep foundation as, as the main structure okay let's go this way again find the edge wall the outside wall there she blows, right here guys. Right, okay. So this this here is obviously where the one room lays. Right. There should be another room in here. Let's see where it lies. Are you following up front please? Okay, it looks like it's here, so I'm just going to confirm this outside wall. Guys, there's the outside wall again here. So let's just nail that there. Okay, and use this return wall in here. Oh, what we got there, let's just get these right. Crossover. Look guys, no crossover at all. Doorway. Alright, there's a slight one here, but nothing compared to... Okay, these are definitely shallower foundations for taking wooden structures as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so let's come in here, where we should be out of the doorway. Okay, we should have a stronger return. Yeah. Okay, there's a stronger return now, because we're out of the doorway. Okay, so, bam. So we know that runs up there. Right. Right, I'm coming down here now. I'm gonna nail this wall here now. There she blows here. Okay, let's do it by here, guys. There she blows here. Oh, there you are, already marked.
Got trust in there. Nice. Nice. That's only two more here. Okay. Right, guys, I've done the church, the chapel, right now, what I believe, just in front of me here, there should be graves. So let's see if we can get these graves going. Right, let's see what happens. I'm coming away and I'll, I'll tell you what I'm seeing. Right, we've got a cross over here. Now, that's something that's quite a deep hole because there's lots of activity coming out of here. So I'm going to mark it here. Right there, guys. Now, if this is a grave, this should stay closed and open up about three foot away. Let's see what happens here. There's our close. Look. There's our open. Let's just nail that here. Right. Now, that's... He fell out again. Okay. Let me show you again. Here's the first marker. And I'm coming into this. Right. Now, damp. Positive energy coming out. Look, stay in there. Stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in. Coming out. Right, so that, whatever it is, is the width. Now, I'm going to come along the length now and see where it begins. I might just be on the edge there. Here we go. Now, let's come along here. Right, I thought I was on the edge here, and I was. That's, the, that's here is where I'm going to stick this. Right? Now, now, I'm just going to put this side. Now, these should close on me now. There they go. Okay, I'm going to just step out of this grave. And there they go, okay? They're out of the grave here. Right, so I do this. That there. Right, that there. That's, this is the beginning here. I'll find this other side now. Let's come out of it. Ground balance, here we go. Okay, there they go. Right, there they go. And out they go again. So, there. There, let's find the other side. Step back out again. Right, walking into the grave, guys. Here we go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to walk through the grave. Just stay in there because it's positive, positive, positive. Bam. This is where it finishes, here. Right, now. Now, this is a pretty... Now, make your mind up what that is. I'm going to come back through here, see if there's another one here. Let's see if we got any more. Okay, we might get it in line, it's going to kick in here. And it does, right? There's a kicking in here. So, so here, let's go into the grave. Into the grave. Back out here, almost in line with that, guys. Let me just check this grave again. Closed. Oh, keeping closed, keeping closed, keeping closed, keeping closed, keeping opening. Right. 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 Let me just walk forward to see how long this grave is. Here we go. Then they go. Then they go. And out they go. This is a slightly bigger grave than the other one. Right, so I'm going to walk to the side here. Let me just come back out and go. Okay, here we go. Come to the side. In they go. Okay, so I'm going to nail this right here. Yeah. Okay, guys. Here we go. The other side. Just one more. Okay, there they go, and there they go again, okay? Right guys, as you can see, there's to me, there's definitely two graves here. Here, here. And that, if you can have a look at that, where, these, where, where the pegs are, I'm just going to come through here. Until we get to here. Whoa. Alright, there we go. Look. 
I like these pieces here now. Okay, there. And obviously there's going to be a crossover by here too. There's a crossover there as well, guys. Right. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off a moment and I'm going to draw a line and hopefully you can see the whole structure in the ground that I've just doused out. Thank you for your time, guys. Hang, bear with me. I'll be back in a moment after I've done that. Thank you very much. Guys, right, I've joined the dots up with some paint. Hopefully it'll give you some idea. This is one of the graves here. If you can see, this tries to be probably a child or a small, small person here. This, this is the other grave which is slightly bigger. Uh, as you see, they're almost identical in line as well this way. So these are two graves, and I guarantee if I come out here, there'll be another one. Here's a clear spot. There should be one in this two foot gap now. There we are. That'll stay closed for three foot. Look, now she'll open. Look, there's another grave. I'll step this way. We find the end of it. Look, almost uniform with that one. I'll come this way and see this uniform with that, that side as well. Okay, here we go. There's the cross. There she goes. She should bust open by here, guys. Right, it bust open dead in line again, okay? So, there's no doubt in all you skeptics, these are definitely graves. I'll take you through the chapel, come and see. Right, guys, come into my chapel. Okay, here's the entrance. Okay, here's a return wall here. Return wall up here. This is the entrance. Watch, watch the slow crossover, guys. Look, hardly, hardly. Look, look, look. Watch. Let's see where the doorway begins. The doorway just beginning by here. Okay. So we come into my chapel. Okay. Here we are. Here's the back room. 18 foot by six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 18 foot by 11, guys. This back room. Come through. Follow me. Follow me. Here we go. Okay, look. Here's another doorway. Look, no crossover. Another doorway here. Little bit of negativity, rubble. Watch this. We come through. Here's another part of the chapel in here. Okay, and then we're going to walk through the chapel. Okay, we keep walking. Right, guys. There's something was here. So whatever's in the middle of you, I'll leave you to the chapel experts to figure that out. Okay, so this is the, the foundation. I'm coming through the middle doorway here. Look, shouldn't be a crossover. No crossover. We're coming back into this area. Almost identical to the same size we just come out of. We come into this area. Okay, we're in here now, all clear. Now, there should be a foundation here. And here it goes. There's a foundation. Should be a doorway by here. Watch the difference, guys. Look, nothing. There's my doorway. We're coming to the back of the chapel. Is there a doorway coming out of the back of the chapel? No. Back of the chapel. So if you can see, guys, I've painted it out for you. Clear a picture of the, the, the divining rods. Um, right, all I can say is they work. And they're great fun for finding lost structures in the ground. Uh, if it's stone structures, they go outwards. If it's positive, if they're cleaned out or ditched, positive. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys, and thanks for staying with me. Bye-bye.